since there are really short videos here. Actually, this is my music room, but recently I seldom teach music, so I work more in Makerspace and EDB. Since I'm filming here today, the topic should be related to music. If you have watched my live podcast before, you should have seen this Roland AE10. It is an electronic saxophone, but when you play, you have the feeling of a traditional woodwind instrument. Therefore, all woodwind players can learn it easily. Same as the OMB MIDI guitar I have introduced before. If I own a real saxophone, why do I need this? Today, I will tell you seriously. Just a reminder, if you like the channel of Carlos the Organ Man, please click the subscribe in the lower right corner. If you want to be notified of new videos as soon as possible, please click the bell. You are also welcome to add likes and comments. Before introducing this electronic saxophone, let's talk about MIDI music first, which is also known as digital music. MIDI is the abbreviation of Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Of course, it refers to the interface with the computer. It is common to use computers to compose music today. But 30 years ago, when several music instrument brands developed the music system together, not many people understand. At that time, the young Carlos was doing electronic music work. I could foresee the application of MIDI should be very powerful. So Carlos wrote a book, A Guide to Computer Music, 20 years ago. Although some of the software mentioned in it no longer exists, but the concepts of media are still used today. If you want to know about MIDI, you can borrow this book from the library and read the chapter, What is MIDI? Maybe I just explain something about MIDI to you. MIDI is a set of messages that allow different musical instruments to communicate. That's so similar to the serial communication interface of a computer. Everyone should have seen an electric piano. It should be called a digital piano. Just look at the back of a digital piano. All instruments produced after the 1980s have MIDI in and out jacks, allowed you to connect to the computer or other musical instruments via MIDI cable. But in the last 20 years, the system of computers has changed a lot. So gradually, there comes another USB plug for you to connect to the computer. So plug in a normal USB cable. It is so much easier than plugging in two MIDI cables and then connect to a MIDI box. You may ask, in the years of Plesley and Beatles, they already have electronic music instruments. So why do you need to digitize instruments again in the 1980s? and connect musical instruments to computers. One of the reasons mentioned earlier is the need to communicate between the electronic musical instruments of different brands. I play on this piano and another piano connect with this piano with sound together and you become an ensemble. Another reason is for recording digital music. If you record your performing in audio, the musical notes cannot be modified, but MIDI notes recorded in a sequencer can be modified. And above is the introduction of MIDI. Let's talk about the instruments that can be communicated with MIDI. The first one is digital piano, be the earliest MIDI instruments. I have also introduced Yamaha's MIDI drum pad before. The MIDI guitar I introduced before is very difficult to make. Those who have watched the video about MIDI guitar knows that already. It is because for a keyboard, it only needs to detect the velocity of your hits. But for a string instrument, you need to detect both the left hand and the right hand action. So a MIDI guitar appear later in the market. Well, today protagonist, the electronic wind instrument. It was the last appeared in the market because the performance of wind instruments involves too many movements. You must check whether the fingers pressing the right holes. Then check the tightness of the embouchure. You see, when playing real instruments, the embouchure can control the pitch. And your breath controls the volume. 
If you are a wind instrument player and you don't know how to play the keyboard, you may need to use an EWI to help input. The method is very simple. Just connect the EWI to the computer with USB. Just now, I demonstrated how to use the EWI to input notes into sequencer. Last time when I introduced the MIDI guitar to you, I also mentioned although I can play any instruments, I still like to use the keyboard. It is because using guitar and wind instruments to input is not as convenient as using a keyboard. Then what's the use of EWI? Well, this instrument has many timbers for you to choose from. I will play some for you. The default is alto saxophone. Press the tone button and use left and right keys to select. Now I choose tenor saxophone. Just like the real instruments, the alto saxophone is E flat transposed and the tenor is B flat transposed. Now I choose brass, which means an ensemble of brass instruments. And I choose a violin. It's not a transposing instrument. So to play in B flat, I have to use B flat fingering. This is the B-flat fingering. Now test pipe organ. Try the fruit. Oboe. And my favorite instrument, clarinet, is a B-flat transposing instrument. Now I'm using saxophone's fingering. There are still others, such as the Japanese sakuhachi. Although it has so many timbers, it is always called as electronic saxophone. So today I'm going to play the song for you with a saxophone timber. It is an old Mandarin song named as Little Rain of Tears. It is originally a Japanese song. Very suitable for saxophone to perform. Undoubtedly, you can imitate 80% of a real instrument with an AE10. But I'm not satisfied with these keys. Because they are not holes, 
you can't feel the air with your fingers. Those buttons are very loose. You will touch other keys when you are playing. When I accidentally stumbled on these keys, and weird sounds appeared. After today's explanation and demonstration, I hope you understand the difficulty of making various MIDI instruments, and you also recognize the functions of this EWI in my hand. Before we finish, I would like to say that digital instruments are still inferior to traditional instruments. I would suggest you to learn from traditional instruments, and after you have learned it, you can make use of digital instruments to input. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share.